Hi there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. If you've been here before, this is Figure Friday. Taking a break from Napoleonic Wars today, and go to World War II and I'm painting a 148 scale pilot figure for your 148 scale fighter aircraft. Now, if you enjoy the video, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on the small logo down there in the bottom right corner. If you'd like to support future productions, you can do that through Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. Links to both of those are in the information box below. So let's get on then and paint this 148th RAF pilot. This is the pilot figure. It's actually from the FX 148th Seafire Mark 17. I've primed it with a bit of grey so you can see the moulding more clearly. It's pretty good. The C5 is a fairly recent tooling. The arms come separately as they won't mould accurately otherwise. First thing I'm going to do here is get rid of some of the moulding lines. You've seen me use sanding sticks before. I make them by gluing sandpaper to lolly sticks. For these figures, I need some really small sanding sticks. and I'm making them by gluing strips of sandpaper to a flat toothpick. This allows me to get into all the tiny nooks and crannies to get rid of those mould lines. Next, I'll cut the parts off the sprue and glue them all together. And I'll sand down any sprue residue once this is set. And when the figure's ready, I'll start by giving it a coat of black primer. The first paint on is a base coat of blue. Now I've used a colour more blue than RF blue grey by mixing a mid blue with signal blue and a touch of black. This is because colours appear more dull when seen from a distance. I'm also going to be using some washes later so a brighter blue at the start is going to be better for us. When that's done I'm going to add a leather colour to the flying helmet and the boots. Again don't worry about the brightness of the colour. And speaking of bright colours, next is the yellow for the life vest. Yellow may have a bit of problem coating the blue, but do keep at it. Then the seat belts. These I've painted a kind of sandy colour, like faded linen. Now, on the face and hands, I'm adding a kind of darkish brown, made by mixing a bit of black into slightly diluted dark earth. Use a darker version of whatever skin tone you want to end up with, as these bits we're doing now will be shadows. Now I'm adding the first bits of shading, some black wash along the strap lines. Don't do an overall wash as you might overdo some bits. Take them piece by piece. I'm also going to add wash to the helmet to help the shading. Move the wash around with a damp brush until you're happy. Then for the uniform, I've added black to the blue I used earlier and have applied that as a dark blue wash. I'm also going to add a stripe of the darker colour as a shadow under the arms. Next, I'll add a bit of thinned down brown as shadow for the life vest. Now I've got some white to which I've added just a little of that strap sand colour for these folded over socks on the boots. Next I'll add just a tiny stripe of that sandy linen colour back onto the straps just to help them stand out a little bit. Back to the face and I'm using a basic flesh colour to add the highlights to the skin. This means the forehead, bridge of nose, cheeks and chin. I'll also do a bit of dry brush over the hands. And while that's drying I'll add a darker shadow stripe to the under edge of the straps, again using the black wash. Now wherever you've put in shadows you also need to put in highlights, so I'm going to dry brush some paler blue over the uniform, just to pick up on the edges. Next I can pick out a few bits of metalwork, the clasps on the straps and zips and so forth. Now for the goggles I use a diluted aluminium 
where it collects it kind of gives a reflective highlight then a tiny bit of shading under the belt buckles to make them stand out a bit now for fun I'm giving my chap a dashing red cravat And what you do most of the time is little touch-ups here and there as paint dries, mainly on the skin tones, just to get them how you want. Then the fellow needs a rank. I'll paint one black stripe and then a pale blue stripe inside it. Depending how heavy-handed you are, he's either a pilot officer or an air commodore. And that's him done. Well, I think he looks okay. Um, he'll look even better if he's sitting behind some perspex or whatever of course but uh, no I think didn't take long to do results are pretty good I'd be happy with that in a plane of my making now if you enjoyed the video please do remember if you haven't yet done so subscribe to the channel you can do that through the tiny little logo down there in the bottom right corner in any case thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time